everybody welcome back to another brand new video today we are opening our first boom box of 2020 last year we opened one of these every single month and we had 11 boom boxes that produced an autograph and our last one in december unfortunately did not have a hit in it but we pulled some great stuff throughout last year from the jose altuve autograph to the vladimir guerrero jr autograph and some of our hits you know weren't the greatest, like Henry Owens or Dennis Santana, but 11 out of 12 times, we had an autograph. We're going to try to replicate that success today with our first one of the year. This is the Boombox High End Baseball Edition. You guys know the drill. If you're interested in this product, the link will be down in the description so you can go check out the Boombox website. So without further ado, let's get this opened up and see what packs you can expect from the 2020 January Boombox Edition. Typically, there are oh, a good handful of packs here, somewhere between six and eight packs. We'll see what we have this month. We start off with Bowman's Best. Very nice. This product just came out a couple weeks ago. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's two autographs per master box. So we've got about a one in six chance at an autograph in this pack. And then we have a nice fat pack of Bowman Draft. I haven't opened these yet either, so this will be fun to open up. We have Topps Heritage from 2019. We also have Bowman Chrome from 2019. We have Topps Chrome from 2019. So a nice selection in this January 2020 boom box. We got Topps Allen and Ginter. And then we have a nice Topps Update pack as well. And as always, there is a one touch inside and what is this there's an extra card down here at the bottom it is a chipper jones prism card so this is the first time that i've received a bonus uh card in one of these boom boxes i know that they put some bonuses in every now and again so that's pretty awesome that chipper jones is numbered out of 299 all right, so here is the literature that is in the boom box. I always like subscription boxes to put this kind of stuff in there. Uh, so tells you that our best odds are going to be the Bowman's best one in three. Okay, so there's actually two per um, two autographs per mini box. So that's going to be pretty good. So good odds this month, one in four, one in six. And then this month they're running a Correa ticket promo one of the 10 tickets and you can win one of the following so always a contest every single month going on with the boom box all right so let's get these opened up and see what we find put the one touch aside just in case we get a really good hit all right so one two three four five six seven packs this month i'm going to start off with oh we'll go with the hobby pack of tops update We've got about a 1 in 24 chance of getting a hit out of this. But still, you might find some of the nice rookies. We'll see here. We start off with Alex Colomay from the White Sox. White Sox are rebuilding for sure. And they're going to be pretty competitive this year. And you know what? Take stock in Yon Moncada. Because he had a really under-the-radar year last year. A really good under-the-radar year. Could see him maybe popping 30 home runs this year. Uh, Shane Bieber, another guy to keep an eye on. Roy Halladay, 1984 design. Gary Sanchez, there's a CC Sabathia card. We'll probably get one more card out of CC. His 2020 card will be his last. Then there's a Roldis Chapman. Thyro Estrada, lots of Yankees in this pack. There's Paul DeYoung and Sonny Gray, part of that nice Reds rotation. Reds are going to be a team to keep an eye on as well. So that's our first pack. Now let's do some Allen and Ginter from 2019. Uh, I can't remember. Allen and Ginter came out in like March, so I can't remember what the odds are on this one. I want to say roughly one in probably 24. All right, so we got Cody Bellinger. You got the MVP leading things off. That's not bad. Derek Jeter, who's going to be elected to the Hall of Fame very shortly this month. We got Kyle Seeger, Aaron Judge. Lots of Yankees in this boom box. Gil Hodges, one of those weird horse cards. A Josh James rookie card. And we also have Stalin Castro as our last one, who just signed a new two-year deal. I was just reading about it with the Washington Nationals. He's going to take over for Brian Dozier. All right, so let's just continue on, continue on down the line. We'll just 
Move on with Topps Chrome of 2019. This came out, what, July 31st? Did a break of these from the National. Only four cards per pack. We got Taiwan Walker. He's a nice bounce back candidate for 2020. Keep an eye on him. Byron Buxton had a nice bounce back season in 2019. Mitch Hanniger is another bounce back candidate. Nice refractor there. And Matt Chapman, who's always pretty good. So not a bad pack uh, overall for people that like bounce back candidates, I guess. Let's do this one. Tops Archives. This came out in about mid-August. And this is a hobby pack, so let's see if we can find an autograph. When I opened cases of these, I felt like one out of every two autographs was a Montreal Expo. That was like the big thing for this release. We got Rowdy Telez, a rookie card. And then we got Randy Johnson, Alberto Mondese, Max Kepler had a great season. Pretty much all the twins had great seasons last year. There's an Ichiro throwback card to... Um, I guess I-4, so I guess it probably did a reprint of all of each of those cards. Sammy Sosa, 1993 Topps Design. Sosa's doing pretty well in the Hall of Fame voting, picking up some ground. Nowhere near to getting elected, but picking up some ground. Rogers Hornsby and Joe Morgan is the last one. So we've got three packs left. Still no hit, but whenever I do these boxes, these subscription boxes from the Boom Box, I always try to save the most likely packs to have an autograph for last. So... Let's do Bowman Chrome from 2019. We opened a couple packs of these here and there in these boom boxes. These have been out for a few months. Mackenzie Gore leads things off. Nick Prado. And then we have a nice purple Michael King first Bowman card. Taylor Ward and Josh James rookie card. So those are our five cards. Still no autograph yet, so I don't know. These are the best ones. One and three, one and four, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do Bowman's best right now. We'll save the Bowman draft for last. Hey, maybe we'll get Adley Rushman out of this. That would be pretty crazy. Or Bobby Witt Jr., one of those guys that uh, was picked up in the last year's draft. Fingers crossed. we got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on the back. we got Witt Merrifield on the front. So here we go. Is there going to be an autograph in here? I really hope there is. Joey Gallo, Trey Turner, and nice Vladimir Guerrero franchise favorites refractor card there. And another Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So that's not too bad whatsoever. Didn't get an autograph, but I mean, these two cards might be worth more than if we would pulled a crappy autograph of some bum like Ryan O'Hearn. No offense, Ryan O'Hearn or Cedric Mullins. So not too bad. Two nice refractors of Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie cards. So I'll take that. So we're down to our last pack. It's a Bowman draft. It's a fat pack, hobby pack of 32 cards. One in four is our chances of getting an autograph. So hopefully we don't start a drought here of not finding an autograph. Like I said, in December, we didn't find one. We lead things off with Joey Bart, the heir apparent to Buster Posey's position behind the dish. Posey's kind of been slowing down a little bit with age the past couple seasons. Jake Agnes, so a lot of these guys, some, some of these guys you probably not have not heard of because they were picked up in the draft. J.J. Bode, nice to see them in their unis, though. Eric Rivera, Nick Quintana, a lot of first Bowman cards. Jordan Grosshands, Andrew Schultz, Tyler Callahan. I'm looking for Adley Rushman. That's the one I want. I'd like to find one of his cards. Royce Lewis, you'll be seeing him pretty soon. Now we're getting towards the middle of the pack. If we do have an autograph in here, it's probably going to be right smack dab in the middle. Corbin Carroll, Andres Jimenez, Zach Thompson, Matthew Lugo. Oh, is this going to be our autograph? Jordis Valdez? It might be. No, it's not. It's a draft progression for the Marlins. Trevor Rogers, Connor Scott, and J.J. Blade. Brett Beatty. And my hopes are sinking fast for finding a hit. We have TJ Sikama, Esteban Florial. Been seeing his cards um, for the past like two years or so in Bowman products. Ethan Small, Dalton Varsho. That's Gary Varsho's son. If I don't know if anyone remembers him or not. He was a major leaguer for the Buccos and I think the Cubs for a little bit. My good buddy, Brock Deathrage. Seth Beer is a good prospect. There you finally see him in his Arizona Diamondbacks uniform. You guys remember him with the Astros, traded over for Zach Granke. And Eric Miller, John Doxakis. I'm 
some of these guys I've never heard of before and Matthew Libitor. So no autograph this month. We are 0 for our last two in the boom box after having 11 consecutive boom boxes with a hit. But you know what? We did find a couple nice Vladdy Guerrero refractors there. So that's the way it goes with subscription boxes. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. We're over two, but it was still fun to open. We got some nice cards. We got some nice first Bowman cards in there. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you all later.